Matt Luton been this week? Are you looking around with a huge head? Nah, nah I've, 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 to be fair, I've not mentioned anything. And, um, it's gone now. It's, it's finished. He's got to keep going. And, and But if you ask me the question, the goal was, as I said at the time, I think probably the best goal in Europe but, that, that last weekend, you know. But no, it's, it's, it's gone. Does he do that in training very often? Has he got that in his game in you know, a regular? No. Nope. So, uh, never seen him doing it before. Uh, yeah, he's, just, he's, a, he's been terrific for us, he really has, he's been great, but the goal was, um, as I said before, definitely a contender for the goal of the season. As quite a few have pointed out, you know, Stoke probably weren't at their best, but that's not to take away from a young other side going to the Britannia and getting a result like that. I mean, how much does, will that do for, for confidence? No, but I think that's taking a lot away for the team. That if, you can only try and play what's in front of you and try and beat what's in front of you. Still a really good side. There's not, not many teams that got up there and, and beat them. And they, I thought we'd break for off. I thought we were, we were excellent. You couldn't ask any more. We might have had one or two more goals in the game, but the way we played and the way, they, the, way the lads done it was, was fantastic. And it, it was so much, those three points towards your set. Yeah. What, what was it like on Saturday night for you? Was it a, were you a relieved man, happier? Uh, not any different from what I'm normally. Uh, just let it go. So as soon as it's finished, you try and let it go as quick as you can and and try and go to the next one, which which is Saturday. People ask me, man, they say, well, you, we see Paul on the TV and it doesn't seem like it affects him, but it must do really, doesn't it? Does it? No, I think you've asked me that before, how they are. Just deal with it. I've got my own way to deal with it. I don't um, try and no show it or um, one lose a draw, as I say, you try and... You try and just keep going. And the, the lads are doing great. They're playing really well at the minute. And they, as long as they're all right, then that's the main thing. Paul McGrath has come out this week and said that he thinks 39 will be a safety mark for, for Villa. Do you think he's, think he's right now? I'm not sure. So you can yeah. say by the end of this month, you? If, if we can win tomorrow on Saturday, there'll be three points behind full. We're sitting 11th at the minute. That just shows you the margin of how close the league league is. What what we have done is a lot of teams look over their shoulder now. Not just ourselves, but there's a few teams there. But we're certainly playing well to go and win to go and win games. Who's uh, who's fit and who's not? Ben came on towards the end of the last week. So we presume he's fully fit. And... He's getting there, just match fitness really. Darren is, is probably lacking. Um, everybody else not too bad. One or two little. Things I'll look at tomorrow, but most everybody's okay. He's a great sort of isn't he? Towards the end of the game, you bring Darren Benton. Well, you, you, as I said before, you need everybody. Not you, you don't. You need everybody at the football club. It's important that the squad is is strong, and um, but you, you need everybody to go the same way. We're talking earlier of five more goals and Christian Benteke could equal uh, Peter with 20 goals in the season. He uh, the won the league. It's quite startling that Villa haven't had a striker that's done that for 30 odd years, isn't it? If you go back that length of time, probably yeah. And uh, but he's been he's been great for us. He <coughs> said nobody, I think, visualised he was going to be as, the way he was when when he first came in. And um, but the big guy's been he's been absolutely fantastic.